Hello there, and welcome back to Phantom Road Trip, otherwise known as Persona 5 Strikers. Oh, so this is it! This is that Masamune statue Inari was going on and on about. He looks so cool. I bet he'd be cutting down shadows left and right if he were in a jail with us. Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. How majestic. Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Hmm? The hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1, 20th Reissue Celebration? Reissue Celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant, putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gain. Let's take them down. <sighs> That's better. Well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes, now that I've seen the great Masamune. My apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. All right, that's one item off the list. Next up, Beef Tongue City. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a cat along. What? Oh, oops. Sendai Sekigan, a Gyutan restaurant. Mm. Holy shit! Is this for real? Mm. This meat is so thick, so soft. Damn, that's good. Ryuji, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! Uh, I think Yusuke's crying over here. Oh god, how long have you gone without eating meat? I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Hey, let me have some too. Uh, I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. You can share, Ryuji. Sorry, can't. Want to, can't. Lies. Don't be such a pig. I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot. Is that a cat I hear? Oh shit! Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. Oh, uh, nope. Not a real cat, at least. Uh, we were just practicing our cat sounds. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh... Meow? What he said. Meow. Oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, not so loud. Oops, sorry, sorry. You're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... Yo, dude, she's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's kind of ironic coming from you, Futaba. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. Huh? What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry, I won't tell the staff or anything. 
By the way, are you all students? Wouldn't you like to know? We're in college. Hmm, I could see a couple of you being in college, but not you. You've still got an air of innocence about you. Excuse me? Joker? Air of innocence? After all the shit he's been through? Are you sure you're not drunk? In which case, you'll be taking your entrance exam soon, right? Have you decided where you're going to apply yet? Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Chinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. The bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. I see, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Candy? Uh, sure? Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? I don't know. It seems kind of sketchy. Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Nah, I got carried away too. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of char on top? Oh, I can't wait! Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was up all night reading it. Two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine interview that he's going to be at the station today. Oh, there's no way I'm missing that. All right, let's finish eating. And quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. The beef tongue was amazing. Oh, I can feel myself getting hungrier already. Whew, I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat, then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you, dude. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Sophia! It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Hmm? What's going on over there? Natsume-san, your latest issue was just amazing as always! Natsume-san, over here! Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. Oh, magnificent! Someone who doesn't obviously look incredibly sketchy as hell. Who the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh, oh, oh. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. Um, okay? Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares. By Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares, 
That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, oh, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. I have to give credit to the to the person who voice acted this guy. He sounds incredibly annoying. Pompous, arrogant. Sounds exactly like someone you want to punch after every syllable and word they utter. Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? That's enough. And who are you supposed to be? I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mmm, sorry, but they're with us. You got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? Try me. <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, he's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. <sighs> who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure, but the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you alright, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised is all. How did jerk like him get so popular? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Let's gather some intel first. Perf, I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Hmm. Hey! Ah, oh, so hot. Let's go! Alright, let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city, so yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Netsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume, currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kinda nuts, right? It's a bestseller. Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Right. 
But the worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. Okay, that is honestly suspicious as hell. Not the no one stepping in part. That's probably just normal, but the fact that they actually praise the attackers, now that is incredibly abnormal. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. Or are out of their minds. And the fans at the station seemed really passionate too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums, and it looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. Yep, that's sketchy as hell. You don't get all positive articles on the internet. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? Nah, even I can convince myself that. We can't be too sure. That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him, and he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues, too. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. So... Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the Atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way, you know that? I love the fact that Yusuke can shrug off after knowing that all of that was caused by Madurami's, um, hypocrisy. And, uh, pretty much greed. Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like... I'll be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? We have to save our energy for the jail, so... No, we actually can't afford to waste our energy that much. Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? Sleep is fun. You're missing the point, dude. Forget it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. We decided to turn in for the night. <laughs> Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. <laughs> what the? <sighs> I fell asleep to the sound of everyone's peaceful breathing. <laughs> that is so very peaceful. <laughs> Awesome! Aww. Hmm. Yeah.
that corny ass voice acting coming from <laughs> Oh yeah <laughs> What will it be That. Thanks, a bundle. What a coincidence. What in heaven? I have to do it. I feel a flash of inspiration. I've learned a new recipe. Let's see. Is that all? Thanks, a bundle! Is that all? Yeah, sure, why not? Thanks, a thanks a lot! What is that? A croquet? Oh! How's it going? Magazine with training info about Sendai Hot Springs. Increase your showtime. You picked the good. Here you are. Is that what? Here you are. Come shop with us again. I wonder if that's true. Oh. Go back. Let's go back. Wait, please hold on. Head back. Yo! Yes! By the way, what you looking for? Is that all? Sweet, thanks! Thanks! <laughs> so, why exactly was a surfer dude selling me chocolate bananas in the middle of a city? What the heck? Find something else. Will that thank you so much? Uh, thank you so much. Will that will that be all? 
I'm honestly curious what beef flavored ice cream tastes like. Come again! Or in this case, I suppose beef flavored ice cream to be more exact. Allow me to take your order. Have you made- Thank you for your business. We please until you return. Something is amiss. Something is amiss. Can I help you find something? Is that all you need? It's all you thank you. Give me all you got. SP recovery items are always the best things to have. Welcome. Oh, that's thanks a bunch. Come again. I am slowly getting hungry and hungrier hmm? buying all these items that are food related. The chosen one. Ooh. Ooh. My. Never. Come back soon. Hmm? Hmm? Hey. We've got what you need. So that's what you're getting? Can you hold up? We recommend that. Thank you very much. We recommend. Can you? We recommend. Thank you. So that's what. Can you? We recommend. Thank you very. We recommend that. Can you? So that's. Thank you. We rec. Thank you. We rec. Can you? So that. Thank you very much. We rec. Can you hold all that? So that's what you're getting. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting for. What did you say? Really? All right. <laughs> I'm not done seeing the sights. Let's indeed leave it to me. That smug bastard's being promoted all over the place. I feel like I'm going insane. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san? 
I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. All right, that is not normal at all. This is coming from someone who actually enjoys reading, mind you. And even when I go all fanboy, I'll buy one copy of the book and any merchandise involved with it, but 50 copies of a book? For one, where in the hell are you supposed to put all that? Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, and some to... My goodness! Thank you! I'm flattered! Reading your book somehow gives me hope, courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay! I'm helping you because I want to! I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. The book signing concluded and Natsume and his fans left. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? Ah, I see! Yusuke is actually reading the novel he wrote to ascertain whether or not he really is that talented. Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a keyword. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful? I think it's the book. I honestly think the book itself somehow sends people to his jail. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey Inari, what's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari? You actually bought that thing? Can I read it when you're done? Yes, I suppose that's fine. I was just curious as to whether or not the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? Hmm. How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh wow, this line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. Uh, the words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before too. And this one! Sheesh. This one too. Wait. Is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? Probably. If the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. There's no mistaking it. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? <sighs> if this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kinda stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? 
for fame? No. Somehow I don't believe that's the case. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. Ah, yes. I suppose it makes a lot of sense you would take offense at this, considering what Mother Ami did. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. Uh, my apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it. Hmm... You smelled it? Anyways... Have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. Oh shit, never mind my theory then. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. Well, in that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab this shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? She's talking about Haru. My name is Beauty Thief. Please stop with that. I see. She's really calling herself that? Getting back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares past- And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... We're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? I don't have anything to wear. Nobody's gonna care what you're wearing. Just pretend you work in the industry or something. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, <laughs> Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. Oh, come on. Have some mercy on the guy. Stop calling him Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps, son. <laughs> Was that necessary? Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. <laughs> I honestly feel sorry for Zenkichi. Party venue, Prince of Nightmares. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is these days. Yeah. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> The praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, 
I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it, and voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth? Fiction? Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadorame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece, what was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Ah, yes, that's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. Oh, you're definitely a fraud. No, no artist worth his soul, whether a novelist or someone who draws for a living or an animator would ever say that about a piece like the Sayori. You're definitely a fucking fraud. That dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? <sighs> Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm alright. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the keyword from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd, so there's a good chance he won't recognize me. Do us the honor. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck! Thank you. I'll be off then. Well, from what I'm seeing, this, ga this game is going to follow a pattern, isn't it? Each one of the characters are going to get someone who represents their story arcs from the from the previous game, from Persona 5. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, wait. Who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey! Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. Uh, you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself? This honor is truly more than I deserve. Dang, Yusuke, you've got him very good at acting. You sure you want to still remain an artist? I'm pretty sure you could make very, you could uh, make a very good job out of being an actor at this point. Nonsense! Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma, Natsume-san? Of course! With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Are you fucking serious? Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism <laughs> be damned. Professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey! 
Hey, you can't... I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me... We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? Damn, Yusuke! <sighs> what right do you have to be angry, you fraudulent artist? So let's dribble? That little bastard. What the hell does he know? Yeah, it, it, it's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just, uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Duh! <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. I'm willing to bet that the reason why he became like that is because they tried to pass him off as the son of a renowned author. And the weight of that title pretty much made him desperate to own up to it. Which can lead to really bad results. When you put pressure on someone like that, they'll crack more often than not. Dude, don't sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all loved seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. Hey, Yusuke might have been acting calm just now, but he seemed rather sad. Why was that? Because he's an artist too. He probably felt insulted. Nah, because he's an artist too. Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. It depends on the person. It's possible. At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank you for explaining that to me. I went back to the RV and got some rest. I've been waiting for you. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. May luck be on your side. <laughs> so tired. Snap out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. 
I know, I know. I was so excited last night I couldn't sleep. What, you think it's Christmas morning or something? Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. That's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Time to get to work. Right. We're heading into the Sendai Jail. Hey. Anyways, yummy, yummy, whoa, amazing. Hey. I get you. Right? Take a look around. That's a pop pink. Is that a pink? That's a pink. Thank you. What's the plan? What would you like today? Is that all you hear you are? Is that thank you, dear? Is that all you need? Here you are. Be sure to How may I help you? That's what you here you are. Take it. My I feel a flash of inspiration. That's what here you is and come again. That sounds like fun. Curiosity, I wonder if that grocery has restocked yet. Also, why did it have to be the shop that's most at the back? Take your time. <laughs> really? You didn't restock coffee beans. We recommend that. Okay. Can you hold all that? I've been thinking. Well, the Sayuri is beautiful. Perhaps, perhaps not. At any rate, the point is... Speaking of which... That's a nice story, honestly. <laughs> Guess even Sai has her cute side. Um... Hmm... <laughs> <sighs> no, 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 no. No, 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 my dear beauty team. You are truly the most beautiful. Let's get to work. This should be helpful. Who is it for? Which one? 
I completely forgot about Pai. <laughs> oh no, not again! <laughs> not again! Who's it for? I completely forgot about equipment. What should we make? You're going to cook? Let's see. This one, huh? Sure, that sounds great. Very nice. Hmm? Ooh. Meow. It seems the coffee I made is a hit. I should finish up the rest later. Sure, that sounds great. Whew. It looks delicious. Good choice. All done. Hmm? Delicious. I'll aim to match that restaurant's flavor as much as possible. Maybe I should eat the leftovers later. This one, huh? Is Joker going to become a professional chef at this point? Mm hmm Incredible! Thank you very much. It seems the salmon bill was a big hit. Maybe I should eat the leftovers later. Holy shit! That bond point increase. Explore jail. Yes. Yeah, let's do this. So that's it. Hmm. Yeah. Once again, the domain reflects who's within. Well, <clears throat> I'll have to end this episode here, but. I'm gonna have a lot of more fun with this. So, let's see here. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Also, it's a medieval gothic vampire theme. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised considering the title of his book is Prince of Nightmares. So, with that as our ending note, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again in my other videos. With that, I bid you all fun. Bye.